I think people were lied to. Ken Kratz says making a murderer made him the most hated man in America. 14 months after its release, Kratz is releasing his rebuttal. What making a murderer gets wrong. I think that people really, really should be angry about this case, but not at the cops and not at the prosecutor, but at the filmmakers. They demonstrated a willingness to misrepresent what actually happened. Kratz prosecuted Stephen Avery and his nephew for the 2005 murder of freelance photographer Teresa Halbach, making a murderer focused on Avery's defense that Manitowoc County officers planted Avery's DNA in her car and her key in his house. Do you have any regrets about not really creating a wall between Manitowoc County and the investigation? Did that create this opportunity for the frame up? In retrospect, I certainly wish different officers than the Manitowoc officers would have found the key, but that's not the way it went. Making a murderer's producers have countered Kratz's criticism by saying he declined to participate in their project. I knew that they weren't going to give me a, a fair shake, and so I chose not to participate in, in uh, Making a Murderer, Volume 1. Kratz says his book details the evidence that convinced two juries to convict both Avery and nephew Brendan Dassey. As for their ongoing appeals... Although the Dassey case, I think, is far from, uh, from being over, I think uh, Stephen Avery case has a, a very, very um, uh, uphill battle for him to get any kind of a new trial. Now, Kratz's book hits the stores today. Next week, Jerry Buting, one of Avery's lawyers, debuts his take on the case, and a second season of Making a Murderer is expected by the end of the year.